Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect your Swan to your hemisphere. The hemisphere is the new cardiac output monitor, that the newer version of the cardiac output monitor that we have from Edwards. The power button is in the front. Um, the power cord is connected in the back of the monitor. Um, if this is plugged in, you're going to see a nice orange yellow uh, color on the power button. We're going to go ahead and press power on. It's going to turn green. Um, to note, on the right hand side of your monitor, you are going to have your normal values with the reps numbers. So if you ever have questions and your super user um, or your charge is not able to answer those questions, go ahead and call the reps. So right now it's going to be doing a self test. On the right hand side of your monitor, you're going to have your cord connections. Two cords are needed to connect your swan to the monitor. Um, the first one is going to be your gray end, which aligns, of course, with what your monitor has here. So I'm going ahead and plug that in. And then same thing with your other cord has a perfect spot for it to go as well. And the ends of these cords look like this. Um, so you're going to have these ends to your cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to connect those now. So we have the end of our swan. Your blue clip is going to come in here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Place there and then it's closed back up. So now this is in place, it's secure. I'm going to take my other ends here and all the colors are gonna line up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, place these in and this will go ahead and screw on. So I'm going to push that in and then screw it on. There you go. So again, could unscrew this to get out. Uh, the arrows are going to align here and I'm going to screw that back on. So don't be pulling these out. Um, but now all my connections are made to my monitor. So when you turn on the monitor it's going to give you the option to add a new patient or continue the same patient. If it's been 72 hours since the patient has been on this monitor it will just show new patient. I'm going to go ahead and press new patient. When you do that it's going to ask you to put in a little bit of information. You're going to go ahead and put in the patient's ID number, their height, their weight, age, gender. Um, what's going the what you'll be doing here is essentially getting the body surface area of this patient. So I currently have this in demo mode. Essentially, after you connect your swan and you put in that information, all you got to do is go ahead and press the go. Um, after this point, it's going to take about a minute for you to get your initial readings. Similar to your EV-1000, you're going to have the option to change your screen. So if I wanted to change my screen, I would come over here. I could choose, you know, whichever figure I wanted to look at. This is a popular one uh, because you get to see the cardiovascular system. Another screen that I find is helpful is this screen here, which is going to give you your trends of the patient. So you can, if you, you know, haven't updated your flow sheet, you're behind, you can come back here in time and write all those values down. So um, let me go back here. If you wanted to change the number of values that you see on your screen essentially you would go back here and you could choose one two three or four so i'm going to go ahead and press four and go ahead right there so right now i have it set to give me my cardiac output cardiac index and this sco is your stat cardiac output this cardiac output will be popping up every five minutes this stat cardiac output will happen every minute so i definitely recommend you know if you don't have start stat cardiac output on this monitor that you put it on there just because it's going to give it give you the value more frequently. At the bottom of the screen, you're going to have your um, your date, your time, it's gonna have your core body temp. Now I will show you how to calibrate. So calibrate is gonna be under this clear marking here. Um, you're gonna go to your nurse's bag and you're gonna do oximetry calibration. So when you're doing oximetry calibration, essentially what you're doing is you're going to calibrate your SVO2. Your SVO2, just think of it as, you know, if oxygen is a passenger on a train, the train is the blood. The blood picks up 
the passengers, the oxygen at the lungs. It carries it over to the cells, drops it off. Some of the oxygen will drop off the train at the cells, but a, re a majority of it will remain in the venous system. So your SAO2 is, when you're explaining it to your, pa to your patients and their family members, your SAO2 is the percent of the hemoglobin that is saturated with oxygen. Rather, your SVO2 is the percent of your hemoglobin that is saturated with oxygen, but rather in the arterial blood with your SAO2, this is in the venous blood, your, so your SVO2. So how you get your SVO2 calibrated is you're gonna go to your nurse's bag, you're gonna choose uh, oximetry calibration, and then you're gonna go to in vivo calibrations. It's then gonna do a 25 second calibration. At this point, you are going to be getting uh, a ABG syringe from your RTs. You're gonna be drawing blood from the yellow port on the swan. When you're going to draw your blood from your swan, you're gonna go ahead and press draw. At that point then, it's marking when you drew your SVO2, clearly here, the time. Your RT is gonna run your VBG, and you're going to get the SVO2 off of the ABG. You will need to have a current h and to do your oximetry calibration. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in those numbers. We're just gonna say, you know, seven, 21 percent. Let's say our SVO2, this was 65 on our on our VBG. Now we're gonna press calibrate. It's gonna take 25 seconds and then after that you'll be getting continuous SVO2 on your monitor here. So now as you can see I got my SVO2 running continuously. On my SVO2 I can see there is four boxes here. I've got one, two, three, four. If I have four boxes filled up, essentially what that means is I'm not getting an accurate reading. Maybe the end of my line is on a vessel. Maybe, um, you know, the cord is just reading inaccurately. It's an old cord or it's an old swan and so it's not reading accurately. What you're going for is that one to two boxes. One to two boxes means that it's going to be accurate. Um, so yes, that's essentially that. Um, so that is how to calibrate. Of course, you have your settings where you can change your patient data. Um, you can go to the monitor settings, all this stuff. Uh, your silence button's here. If Remember, if you want to change which values you are viewing on here, what you're going to do is click the gray. You can choose which values you want. Um, pretty much the only values, though, that we can see or that I recommend that you see are going to be these top four and then your SVO2. This monitor, because it does not get values from our cardiac monitors, such as heart rate, arterial blood pressure, um, MAP, RPA pressures, it's not getting that information, so it can't calculate your SVR. So um, these top four and your SVO2 is really the limitations of our monitor currently. Now what I can do if I want to get calculations on certain hemodynamic values is I could go to my nurse's bag and I can put derived value calculator. Now essentially here what I'm going to do is I can put in all this information. Um, I can put my hemoglobin in there, I can put my mean arterial PA pressure, let's just say it's 15, uh, let's say that my PaO2 is um, 100% and my, P, my wedge pressure is 10. Essentially then I can get a few values up here. I'm gonna get my stroke volume, my um, PVR, I'll get my SVR, and that's just from all the calibrations that I've been doing here. That concludes the hemisphere tutorial. If you have any questions, please reach out to your super user, your charge. Uh, you can also, if you run into problems, you can uh, call the reps using their phone numbers here. And that's all I have on this. Button's going to be here, so you're going to go ahead and press that on.